Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about Nuxt plugins. So what is a plugin? Now, when you go to the Nuxt site, right, and you look at Nuxt 3, especially, and you, check, you talk about plugins, see Nuxt automatically reads the files in your plugins directory. But you're like, wait a minute, what's a plugin? You got to know what a plugin is. So Nuxt is based on view. And when you go to the view site, they tell you what a plugin is. A plugin is self-contained code that usually add app level functionality to view. So it's pretty much code that you can add to your app. And the way, like let's say you had an app and then you had a function that says um, get name, right? You could add that to your app. So it's like app.getName. But we're talking about Nuxt. So, um, in this Nuxt Retail when Starter Kit, which is what I, I use, you see here that this is a plugin, right? And we're going to look at this plugin and see how you can write your own. So this plugin, all it does is just tell you what today's date is. So today is Friday, the 18th, November, 2022. When you go to the next page, it tells you the same thing. Now we're just calling one function here. We didn't write this again. We're just calling it here again. So let's look at plugins. So in your Nuxt 3 app, right, you're going to have a folder called plugins like this. And then in that folder, you're going to have a file, todays.ts. So this file just tells you what today is. And I'm going to make this bigger. Right, so we're using DayJS, and if you don't know what DayJS is, DayJS is just uh, it's a utility, it's um, a library that helps you with date stuff. So if you look at this code, I could write it, but it's already written, you know what? So let's just take a look at this, right? So you have an import text minute statement, import DayJS from DayJS. So we're just gonna get um, a DJS. So it's a function. So we're gonna grab that. Um, what do you call that? Um, object, <laughs> right? We're gonna grab that object, and then this is part of. So now DJS. So if you want to learn more about DJS, you go to well DJS and just look at the functionality. But that's not what we're here for. We're, we're here to learn about Nux. So here, when you say now, DayJS, it gives you a DayJS object, and then you can look up what to do with it. So, nope, oh, wrong place. So we're saying now DayJS, and then comes today, DayJS.now. So I get that object that I made from DayJS. And then I say format this date like this. So once you do that, now here's the important part. This is where you define your Nux plugin. All of this was just, I just want to get today's date. So you're going to say export default define Nux plugin. This is what is in the official Nux 3 documentation. When you go here, they tell you how do you create plugins. The only argument passed to a plugin is Nux app. So export default define Nux plugin. That's what we have here right as a as, asynchronous function async nux app we pass that this nux app is your nux application use that oh, that's the functionality this is your nux application and then what you're saying is on your nux application add this function today so this today is this one now this could be anything here right so it's to, to, to today and then today and then in your pages or your components wherever let's go look where this is defined actually i gotta search here so today so we are in the about or the home component right so here we are so yeah it makes it a little bit smaller so when you come to your component come down here I don't know why that's doing that but this is working 
when you come here, you're going to see a const nux app, use nux app. This is a composable. And what it returns to you is the instance of your application. You see up here, returns the current nux instance. I got two of them here. I think I got maybe too many uh, extensions, that, that two of them that are recording this. So this is an instance of your nux application. And what you're go going to say is that on your nux application, get the value of today. So this is a plugin here. This is the same plugin that we just wrote in, I should have had that file open. Go to my files, click that. You go to plugins, you see? So get the value of today, and the value of today is this one, today, which is the value of today. I'm saying today too many times. So if you were, so once you do that, now you can use it anywhere. And all I'm doing here is I'm saying here, today's date comes from a plugin strong today. This returns this value here. And that's what you see in your user interface right there. That's what it is. Now, this function is really simple, right? You can add whatever function you want here, you know? So that's pretty much what it is, really. You can change this to anything you want. Say you, we want to call this um, play, right? We're just going to call it play. Well, that's weird, actually. We're going to call it today's date. It makes more sense. It's always good to name your variables about what they do. <laughs> today's date. There it is. So now this is going to fail or it just won't show anything. You see that? There's nothing there because on your Nux app, there is no such thing as today any longer. This doesn't exist. But when we add today's date here and we save that and Vit is so fast and well, no, no, Nitro, I think, is your front end server, right? Either Vit or Nitro. Maybe it's Vit, I think, Vit. It's kind of from the French word uh, Vitesse, I think. It means fast, so Vit, yeah. So, today's date, now this will work. Will it work? Do I got a refresh? Oh, we got a bug. What's going on? Do I need to? Let's see. So, Nox up today's date which is what we have in the plugin today's date. So, but we're not getting it. So maybe I wonder if you need to restart plugins. I think plugins are um, started when your app starts, you know, so they are part of your app. So they are built before your, your app. So I believe we have to restart the plugin. It just won't work by refreshing the UI. If we do that, See, it doesn't work. If we save, it doesn't work. So we have to restart. So we're going to just restart our server. Oh, and by the way, if you want this um, starter kit, you can get it absolutely free. It comes with pages, layout, use head, composable. You know, okay, this is uh, starting up. And you can get this starter kit absolutely free. It will help you build your Nuxt app faster. You know, you can see how plugins are written. You can see how pages are written. I wrote it so that it could help you build your Nuxt app faster. There, there we go. Is this working? Oh no, it's not working. Hmm. Wonder what we did wrong. Let's go debug. So Nuxt up today's date. It's still not. Wait a minute. Are we on the wrong page? Let's look at the pages. Where, where are we? About, um, wow. I have no idea why this isn't working anymore. Hmm. Let's take a look at this. I wonder, wait a minute, what did I change? Yeah, yeah, this today. So this restarts. Now that's working. That is odd. I didn't think it would 
do that. This is not working. So it's working here, but it's not working here. I think I made it. Let's see. Today, home content. Today's date. That's weird. We don't have this anymore. Refresh. That's strange. Change this to today. Today, today. I don't think the name should matter. This should be able to call this anything. Did I change it up here? I don't think so. No, today is still today. <laughs> All right. Now it's working. All right. Now I gotta figure something out here. If I were to change this, I wonder if that matters. Let's call it today is day. Change it to that. Go into the plugins. Change this to today's date. Did I change it here or here? <laughs> today's date is today. So let's see. This is one. This is in the home component, which is related to the index page. So that's not working. That's not working. Wow. I'm a little bit lost here, actually. I'm gonna restart. Let's see if this works. So fetch, the fetch API, I believe is part of Nux3 and in node 18 and above, I think you get this experimental feature, but I don't know why it works well. We're going to talk about servers sometime soon. So Nitro is built. That means our server is running. That is the weirdest thing. Seriously, guys, like that is weird. That's weird. I don't know how to explain this, but it is weird. So when I just have today, wait, today, today. thought this would then it works that is strange I'm telling you that's strange well so what have we learned here you know I don't know if it's a bug in Nox or what <laughs> but I'm thinking this should be able to work either way let's try it one more time I'm gonna change this to let's change the plugin first actually let's see I'm gonna change this to today queue right in the plugin itself. Today queue is not diff oh that's wrong actually. Change this to today queue. Okay. And then I'm I wonder if I need to rebuild. No, I should have to rebuild. Change this to today queue. Does this work? No. Home. Oh, wait. Look at this. This is not there. It worked. The problem was, for some reason, my pages weren't changing. There we go. So that worked. See that? So <laughs> that was that was that was crazy. OK, so you can change this to today's date. All right, this home component is just available in the index file and then you go back here so that doesn't work but you go back to uh, wait, to, wait a minute what am I doing okay yeah this isn't defined it's gonna be defined here today's date there we go should this should work now home no, it's not working. I wonder if plugins can only be lower, ca lower, lower case, right? If I say today's date in the plugin, and I call this, oh, I, I made a mistake actually. It's today date. Today date. Don't you guys like debugging? 
Now let's see. There we go. Okay, we figured it out. It works just the way we thought it should work. So if you want this free Nux3 Tailwind starter kit, it's really good, right? So you get um, a custom plugin. You can learn how to write plugins and there are different ways of writing plugins. This is just one way. There are three ways, I believe. It's not in this one, but there are like three ways. You go to Nux plugins. I believe it's the there are like three ways, and I think they're still the same way. The one we used today was th this one, I right? No, no, no. Well, one of them. Well, anyway, this is <laughs> this is one way of writing your plugins, right? So you can add whatever function you want here. You can pass values to it, whatever you want to do, right? You could write a plugin like this. So. Thank you for watching. So if you want this free Nux3 Tailwind starter kit, it comes with all this stuff in here ready for you to go so you can add your own pages if you want. You can add some more components. You can learn how to write. Um, you can learn how to write plugins like we did today. You can also add your own layouts. It's awesome and it's absolutely free for you. It looks like this and I think you will love it. That click the link below this video so you can get your own free Max3 Tailwind starter kit. I'll talk to you soon.